Hey Franks and Blues, it's Jay Ellis here. I hope everyone's going really well during the lockdown. I've just come to you today to give you a few video demonstrations to pair with a program which you receive shortly from the club. Once you receive the program, you might have some questions around how to do a certain exercise. And we as a club like to provide you with all the tools and resources so you can complete them safely and comfortably in your own home to return to practice safely once you resume. If you've got any questions, please watch your video that's attached to this and hopefully we'll see you at the House of Blues soon. One of the first exercises in your program is a crab walk. Hopefully most of you now are familiar with a mini band as we've used them through the club for the last couple of years to help with our warm ups. If you're not, you can actually get one just $5 from Kmart or contact Jared at the club and we can point you in the right direction of a supplier. Now, what we've got here with the mini band, you can do this one of two ways for the band crab walk, either around your knees or your ankles. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna pop around my knees just so you can see, but you can also do this around your ankles. Now to do your crab walk, what we're gonna do is practice our guarding stance. So sit down in a nice athletic position like you're guarding your opponent, band around your knees, and what we're gonna do is move side to side using our legs to push us as we move side to side. Really importantly here, what we want to do is keep tension through the band, which happens by pushing our knees out, sticking our bum backwards just a little bit, and then we push off the left leg to move right, or the right leg to move left. Once you've done all these reps, hopefully you should feel it through your hips, which is your glute muscles and your hip flexors, and that way you know you're doing the exercise really well. Our next exercise is what's called a psoas march, but you can just call it a hip lift. It's a nice, simple exercise. Again, with our mini band, what we're gonna do now is pop it around the instep of our foot, which as you can see here, is just through the arches of your foot. Both feet are gonna step on the band. Once you're set up and the band is underneath both your feet, what we're gonna do is practice our balance and also work on our hip flexor strength. So what we're going to do now is one foot is going to lift up and slowly control down while our other leg is balancing. So whilst you're doing this exercise, you should feel it through your hip flexors and through your quads. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can practice your arms like you're sprinting. So you're alternating motion, left arm for right knee and right arm for left knee. From side on, if you want to know if you're in a good position, what we're really looking for is knee comes up, toe comes up. So we're working a hip flexor and get nice strong ankles at the same time. Once we're warmed up with our mini band exercises, now it's time for our wall sits. Now I know we've all done wall sits before, so I'm gonna give you a really quick instruction how to complete them, but hopefully you've done these before as part of your warm up or just on your practice at your own time at home. So the idea of the wall sit is to help strengthen our quads and make the knee tendons nice and strong. So when we're jumping, running, change of direction, we minimize our chance of knee pain, especially as we return to the court after a bit of a break. So for your wall sit, what you're gonna do is find a nice sturdy wall behind you, sit right down, and we want to get as low as we can with our knees parallel to the ground. So parallel to the ground just means our knees are about the same, so our thighs are about the same height as the ground. Back stays nice and straight against the wall, and all this tension here will go through our quads. So just hold this for the recommended time throughout the program. However, if it's too easy for you, you can always hold it longer, or you can hold a weight in your hands to make it a bit more difficult while you're doing it. Other than that, the next option which you can do is a bit more advanced, is a single leg wall sit. So lift one leg off the ground, put all your pressure in one knee, or switch legs and put it all in the other. So, double leg wall sit, add some weight, or single leg wall sit are all great options to help build your quad strength up and protect our knees as we return to the court. Okay, hopefully we're nice and warmed up now. After our mini band exercises and our wall sits, Hopefully our quads and our glutes are nice and warmed up. So the next part about helping us return to the court is to actually practice our landings so that we can prepare to jump and get those nice big rebounds and shoot those jump shots once we return to the court. So I've got a little stool here from the kitchen, but you can use anything around the house, whether it's stacking up some bricks, the steps into the backyard, or even the nature strips are a nice simple option as well. We're gonna practice what's called a single leg step down. So really carefully, Jump up onto your step. As I said, this could be a brick, it could be the nature strip, or the backyard steps. What we're gonna do now is really gently step off the platform and practice our balance landings on one leg. We're gonna hold for three to five seconds once we land, 
to really make sure our ankles, our knees, and our hips get nice and strong. So stepping up onto your box, stepping down, really hold your balance there, work on your knee stability and ankle stability. As per your program, we wanna make sure we do our left side and our right side and work on our balance on both sides of our body as we return to the core. As soon as we've done our single leg step downs to warm up for our landing patterns, now we're gonna work on our single leg squat strength with what's called an eccentric step down. So similar to what we had before, I've got my little kitchen stool here. We're gonna do an eccentric step down. Now eccentric means slowly and lowering. So what we're going to do is do three seconds on the way down, three, two, one. When your leg touches the ground, you're gonna push up using the leg that's doing the squat. So once again, three, two, one. Just gently touch the ground and step up. Now whilst we're doing this movement, we want all the tension to go through our quads so we can practice on our balancing leg to help make our knees and our hips nice and strong for basketball. So from the front on, this is how it looks here. And then from the side, once you're facing your wall, three, two, one, step down, and then push back up. Three, two, one, step down, come back up. And the idea with this exercise is to really work on both our strength and our balance on both sides of our body. So remember to go nice and slow, count to three on the way down, and push all your weight through your balance leg. Okay, and now to finish off our return to play injury prevention program, we're gonna make our way down to the floor for what's called a single leg glute bridge. Now, for those of you who've done the program before, you may be familiar with this exercise, so you can choose to do either a single leg or a double leg. We're gonna do a single leg just for sake of this one today. So what we're going to do is pop our feet on the ground and lie back. Now, just watching my left leg here, what we do is lie nice and flat on the ground, put our hands down for support, and using our bum muscles, which are our glutes, we're gonna lift up as high as we can, squeeze, stabilize our hips, brace our core, squeeze our bum, and then slowly control down. So it's pushing up and slowly controlling down. As we've written in the program, we really want to make sure we do both sides of our body to make sure we get equal strength in both hips. If you find two legs, so single leg exercise quite difficult, you can do a double leg variation, which is exactly the same. All we're gonna do, hands on our abs or our hips, bridge up with two legs and slowly controlling down. Bridging up with two legs and slowly scrolling down. 